The message that persuades is written to convince your reader to do or believe in something. These types of messages are written to sway your readers and create change or action. Finally, a message that conveys goodwill is... When you sit down to a blank page or screen, one of the first questions you should ask yourself is, why am I writing this message? By answering that question, you have set yourself up with a purpose. That means you won't just be filling up space on the page, but writing words that help to communicate your goal. So, how do you identify the purpose of your writing? In business, we can use written communication for three main purposes. To inform, to persuade, or to convey goodwill. A message that informs will explain or pass along information. These types of messages notify your reader of specific information and are written to share details. The message that persuades is written to convince your reader to do or believe in something. These types of messages are written to sway your readers and create change or action. Finally, a message that conveys goodwill is written to build a relationship with your reader. These messages use kind words to help you create a closer bond with your reader. Once you know your purpose or goal, it's a good idea to match your style and tone to agree with that motive. Write with your goal in mind and you'll give your communication direction. It becomes more likely that you'll achieve your objective. If you're writing to inform your reader, you should use a professional and neutral tone. That means avoiding slang, colloquialism, and superlatives like terrific. In this case, your writing style should be direct, concise, easy to understand, and use simple, familiar words. If you're writing to persuade your reader, you'll want to inform them of a few points and then convince them to believe in the benefit of that information. As a result, these messages should have a positive, compelling, and descriptive style and tone. When writing a persuasive message, you should focus on the value of your information and the reason why your reader will benefit. Finally, if you're writing to convey goodwill, you should use an informal tone and conversational style. Goodwill messages are sincere, selfless, and specific. That means the message will focus on the reader and give genuine and specific compliments or praise. The next time you're ready to write a message, consider these three purposes and ask yourself whether you're writing to inform, to persuade, or to convey goodwill. If you keep your goal in mind, you'll be more likely to pass on the right information and give your readers the right takeaway.